Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. Anchor gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. The creation tools allow you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds great. And they'll distribute your podcast for you so that it can be heard everywhere on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, on Google Podcasts, and many more. And you can easily make money from your podcast with no minimal listenership. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Well, welcome back to another episode of Teachable Life Moments with Keeler Bryson. I just want to start off by saying welcome back from the weekend. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope that it was full of adventure, full of um, getting some rest, and just all the things that most of us enjoy doing on the weekend, getting a break from the work week. So I'm going to roll right into today's episode because uh, I want to make sure that I can cover this hopefully in 30 minutes. If it ends up being a 30 minute podcast, I will split this up into two episodes so that I don't like take up a lot of your time. I try to keep these episodes to at least 15 minutes so that um you know, we'll have a greater chance of you actually hearing a full episode because I know everybody is super busy and to give up 30 minutes of your time, sometimes that is pushing it, right? (laughs) So at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and get into today's episode because I really, really want to get through this. I have been just feeling excited and eager to discuss today's topic with you because it is so 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 powerful and I pray that it creates some clicks and breakthroughs in your spirit and makes something click mentally and spiritually um, so that you can um, move forward in some areas that you may perhaps have been feeling stuck or just feeling like you are not moving at the rate you should be moving forward. So I want to start out uh, basically giving you today's topic. And the topic I'm going to be dealing with today is entitled Awakening the Adamic Dreamers or Awakening the Adamic Dreamers. And in a minute, you're going to understand the title better. Um, Just give me a few moments, you know, kind of work with me on this. And I really want you to listen closely at what I'm saying, because I really want this to break through and create a snap within your spirit. I want to start out with this first question. I want to know which tree are you eating from? Which tree are you living from? You know, um, if you are familiar with the Bible, there is a story that starts. um, I invite you to go back and read Genesis, the second chapter, Genesis, the third chapter as well, because a lot of what I'm going to be saying today is uh, it has those chapters in mind for uh, today's topic. So I want to know the tree of life. Are you living from the tree of life? Are you eating from the tree of life? And do you remember the name of the other tree that's been kind of like a big deal, a big topic of discussion in the Garden of Eden. And you may recall that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is the other tree that was in the Garden of Eden, in the middle of the Garden of Eden, these two trees. And so I want to know, which tree are you living from? Which tree is your life currently eating from, so to speak? Are you Do you feel like when you look at where you are right now and just the results and just the things that are currently going on in your life, do you feel that you are a person that's living from the tree of life? And when you think about the tree of life, what is the tree of life? That was the tree that God told Adam, you know, you can, this is the tree that you basically should focus on. This is, should be the tree that you should live from. The tree of life is the tree that basically imparts God's own life. Um, When we live and eat from the tree of life, it means to be near God, to be, to eat from this, basically this tree 
Um, it means to ingest and by, you know, by us eating and living from this tree basically is representing us ingesting God's own life and uh, basically the life power that comes from eating and living from the tree of life. And it also means ingesting his presence. Now, when you think about the tree of life in that, you know, basically it's giving you life, you know, life in all areas. Um, you know, where you just feel like all things are well and that um, only good comes to you, that even when it seems as bad, still you can decree and declare that only good comes to me. And why and how can a person say that? It's because they're eating from the tree of life. Life, when you think of life, that means things that things are living, you know? Um, Now, if you are one that's eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which is the tree, the fruit from this tree is the fruit that God forbid Adam to eat from. Now, we all know the effects of Adam and Eve eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And we know the effects of that because we're humanity is basically living through the um results of that but even with that jesus christ coming we are supposed to be free redeemed from all of that um which lets me know that we can still have a tree of life experience here in the earth realm when you think about the forbidden fruit so if you're eating from the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil then your life is going down a certain path right now um because you know too much basically (laughs) and that's basically what eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil it does it gives us more information than we should you know it's good to know knowledge of good but to know knowledge of evil that's where the problem comes in and when we are eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil it means our life we live in a life that's basically outside of the garden of Eden. We are basically living from a realm of mortality. You'll find yourself experiencing or living from a realm of grief and just longing for something better, longing to be in a better place. And so that's why I opened up with which tree are you eating from? Which tree are you living from? Are you living from the tree of life? symbolically or are you living and existing from the tree of knowledge of evil and good you know in jewish tradition the tree of knowledge and uh, eating of the fruit represents the beginning of a mixture of good and evil together um, because it is believed that before that time the two were separate and when you think about that that was a strategic plan that I believe God have to keep the knowledge of good and evil separate. And so when Adam and Eve partook of the forbidden fruit, they became aware of another realm. And when you become uh, knowledgeable about this other realm, it impacts your ability to believe. It impacts your ability to see outside of your current reality. Because again, you know too much. You're you're eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And in this day and time, most people can't, they can barely see the good because the evil is so much stronger in their visual view. And so, um, therefore, we have got to take an assessment to figure out which tree am I living from? And how do I start living from basically a tree of life experience? Now, while we did have free choice, like Adam and Eve, they had free choice. It existed before they partook and ate the forbidden fruit. Um, Evil existed only as an entity separate from the human psyche. And so there was like no knowledge of evil prior to them eating that fruit. And I believe during this time, during the days to come, we have got to become, especially if you're a person of faith, a a believer, you've got to learn how to live from the psyche of life instead of from the psyche 
of evil. We see too much evil, especially if we claim to be believers. Too much evil. We've got to uh, have that. We walk by faith demeanor about ourselves. Because if we don't learn how to master that, we are going to have some challenging days. And so eating the forbidden fruit, if we're doing this day after day, symbolically, you know, we're taking in all the knowledge of this good and evil situation and mostly the evil, um, then it, it internally it does something to us. Now think about it. When you are ingesting and watching and taking in nothing but just trouble and problems and evil reports on the news, internally that does something to you, right? And so we have got to learn how to flip that and live from a higher realm. In the last episode, I kept talking about living from maybe that fifth dimension experience. And you know why? It's because we've got to elevate to that level because if not, many of us are going to have some challenging days. And so that's why it's very, very important for you to please, please, please listen and eat what I'm saying, digest it real slow. Um, now, most people think that the first sin was Adam and Eve eating the forbidden fruit. But in Rashi's note in the Jewish tradition in Genesis 3 and 3, actually the first sin was when Eve added an additional clause to the God's divine commandment. Think about that. Um, she added some extra onto what God said. She had she said, neither shall you touch it. Okay, this was so profound to me in looking at this because I said, Lord, this is what we do. Instead of us decreeing and declaring what God has said specifically, a lot of times we do just like eat. We're adding to God's word. And we know that in Proverbs 30 and 6, it says, do not add to his words. Do not add to God's words. But when you're living your life each day and you're seeing this, the good and the evil, primarily the evil, If you're not careful or strong enough or built up in your faith or eating from the tree of life on a regular, consistent basis, you will find yourself adding to uh, things. You know, we know that the word of God declares all the blessings and the good things that we are entitled to. And that's our birthright. And yet we still out here speaking the opposite of what the Bible declares. And we should not do that. That is a, that's like sin and you like lying on God. You'll speak something in out of frustration or just, just out of anger or just out of just being impatient. And before you know it, you have said something like Eve, God didn't say that. Now, some of these things that we've been saying, we need to sit down and assess, did God say that? No. A lot of the things that, that we sometimes say out of frustration or just out of being in a state of impatience, it's not what God said. And when we do that, that is indicative of the fact that we are eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And when we eat from that tree, that's when we are, we have evil inclinations and evil inclinations is anything that goes against what God has said. All right. So next, let's talk about the Adamic dream. Um, You know, when we eat from the forbidden, when we eat the forbidden fruit and we're eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, do you know that it puts us in a deep state of sleep? And when we are in that deep state of sleep, somebody has to wake us up. And that is part of the purpose of today's podcast is to awaken the Adamic dreamers. Adam and Eve were in a state of sleep once they partook of this forbidden fruit and became aware of the knowledge of good and evil. And there is a problem with being in the Adamic dream. And there are a lot of people walking around in the Adamic dream and they need to be awakened. 
They need to be awakened from the deep sleep. They need to be awakened from the illusion of opposites because when we partake and live from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, we live in a realm of opposites where we're seeing good, we're seeing evil. And most people are drowning in the evil. They can barely see the good, as I just said. And when that happens, people begin to develop into a generic form of the man or woman that God has designed. And when you become a generic version of what God designed or a generic man or woman, you basically only can see loss, lack, failure, sin, sickness, and death. But if you are an awakened man or woman, you know the power of God. You only know of one power. And that's how we got to become. We got to be, see the tree of life only allows you to see things as one, as the way God has said it and, and, and created it to be. And so that's why we have got to be awakened so that we only know that one power, one God, that one condition, which is good. And so wake up. If you are asleep, in a deep sleep, wake up. All right, that concludes part one of today's podcast, The Awakening of the Adamic Dreamers. In the next episode, I am going to deal deeply, more deeply with the Adamic Dream. And I'm going to go into detail of what that really looks like and how um, when we are in that sleep state of being an Adamic dreamer, how it enslaves us. And I'm also going to talk about in the next episode of how we got how to wake up, what we got to do to wake up from our Adamic dream. All right. Thank you for tuning in. You have just listened to another episode of Teachable Life Moments with Keeler Bryson. If something I said today was a blessing to you, then please like, comment, and share. And until the next episode, stay safe.